Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be covering local storage. Local storage is very important if you created an app where you don't want the contents to get deleted off the screen when you click on the refresh button. So with local storage, you're able to save the data. So when you come back to the project or when you click the refresh button, the data is still there. As you can see, I have two arrays here and it doesn't matter if I click on the refresh button or even if I exit and come back to it, this is still gonna be here. All right, let's begin by creating an array and storing it in local storage. Let's call it colors array. And let's fill it with random colors. All right, that's good enough. Now let's place it in local storage. We do that by using local storage set item. Now we have to create a key so we can access this array later. Let's call it colors, since that's the name that's related to the array. Now we use JSON stringify and include the name of the array. All right, so that's how you place things inside of local storage. Now let's create a copy of this. I just wanna show you that you can place multiple things inside of local storage, not just one. This is going to be the numbers array and let's change these values to numbers. We're going to give this one a key of numbers. All right, we now have two arrays and they're both in local storage. Now let's get access to them. Let's start with the colors array. We're gonna store that one in a variable called colors data. And to retrieve the array, we use JSON parse local storage get item. Include the name of the key. And now we're gonna output this to the screen just so you can see that this is still there even after we refresh the window. All right, let's copy this. And now let's get access to the numbers array. All right, let me run this now. And I'm gonna right click inspect console. And as you can see, the arrays are still there. Of course, right now we still have these two up here so they should still be there but once we comment this out the arrays shouldn't be there anymore but they are going to be there because we're using local storage so when i click refresh now these are still here all right let's say that we want to delete one of these we use local storage remove item and include the name of the one that you want to delete let's delete the colors one now if I click refresh, the colors one is now null. All right, let's say that you wanted to delete both of them at the same time. Instead of local storage, you would use clear. And you could just leave it like that. And now if I refresh this, then both of them are gonna get deleted. Of course we had deleted that one with remove item, but even if we hadn't, the clear function is gonna delete both of them at the same time. And that's basically how local storage works. In part two, we're gonna create a small application so you can see how this works in action.